Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, and we are here in my beautiful, wonderful, slug and snail filled garden here in Zudesia Zoo. Or, you know, at least my, my yard in Zudesia Zoo. I know it's beginning to seem that we only live in the land of lettuce and this adorable yard and flying, woo, and flying golden chocobo. There we go, sunflower. And tiny snails and slugs. But eventually I will be done with my garden hermit ways and we will begin to spread our goals, dreams, and desires through the actual zoo. Just hang in there guys. I'm having so much fun being here in the garden and I don't know, it just, you know when you feel really good about having your house in order before you start spreading yourself out into other projects uh, throughout the world? That's kind of how I feel. Plus it's so cute. <gasps> Another little mystery bug hiding here. I could have sworn I named this one. Wasn't I going to name it like lettuce i named one of you guys yeah there's peekaboo here's henrietti okay sunflower i'm gonna be oh there's henry and there's daredevil and over here is nutmeg oh i love these snails okay i need more essence berries and actually i have a whole bunch of them <sighs> here next to where martha would normally sit she is, of course, now in her home for, for quite some time with the eggs and chicks that she shall have there. But we will be visiting her as usual during the side quest. I just, I, I, I can't believe that my Martha has finally grown up and, and is having some children of her own. I'm pretty sure she's hatched an egg or two before, but clearly these ones are going to be explosively special. So I'm very excited to be able to spend time with her growing family. And apparently I'm also very excited to eat some food because my stomach is about to growl. But all I have is applesauce and roasted pumpkin seeds, and that does not sound very filling. So let's go into the kitchen. Oh, Matt, Catherine, Jim, Darling, that's right, I need to make you guys some more food. Do you mind if I have some of these, the, the spice bun right here? Gosh, everybody has been visiting for a long time. I should probably make them more chocolate cake, but maybe I have something else to offer. Uh, oh, PB and J's. <laughs> I need to save those for when we need to trade to Little Bin for more bug eggs. Uh, but let's see, I've been meaning to go through some of our old food lately. Ooh, an apple pie, okay. <laughs> Not the healthiest breakfast, but I want to have an apple pie. Because <laughs> doesn't that sound amazing? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What did I just knock down onto the ground? Hang on here. Okay. A diamond grater. That's right. How do I... How do I use you, diamond grater? You're a very special diamond grater. Uh, minced fish and vegetables. That would probably be why I haven't used it. Minced chocolate! That you can turn into ganache? What? Oh my gosh, and you can make it into a clay pan filled with chocolate? What? And then you can make chocolate truffles? Oh my gosh. And you can make a chocolate gift box? <laughs> that escalated quickly, and I think the chocolate lover in the house may have had his ears perk up, uh, but that was interesting. But I had been meaning to go through some of our old food uh, because I'm pretty sure, you know, like these uh, these fake egg sandwiches may not be very good. And I wanted to see if I could actually compost these for our adorable little slugs and snails. Oh, and I was going to get the essence berries, wasn't I? <laughs> Don't worry, eventually I will be able to keep up with myself. Aw oh, man, you can't compost the food. Ah, okay, I was really hoping you could. All right, well, let's grab the essence berries. Oh, there's not that many here, actually. A lot of essence berry bushes that probably need planted, but not nearly as many essence berries as I thought I had stored here. I should have a whole bunch stored in the attic, though. But all right, let's eat up these delicious essence berries that apparently taste like creeper, which is slightly concerning. And let's go ahead and name that little peekaboo snail. And I actually wanted to create a line, kind of a royal line for Henry here and Henrietti, uh, because I just am really into this slug dynasty. It's kind of fun just to think about having them in my yard. And as we've learned, apparently they do not have very long life stages, our beloved little ambient animal friends being here in our environment with us. So I just want to be prepared for when it is going to be time to go ahead and continue on the Henry and possibly Henrietti line. So I came up with an idea. 
first things first. Uh, sunflower, gently step this way so we don't... Well, actually, what am I doing? I don't need to move you. The anvil is over here. All right, first things first. I'm going to name the little green snail. And I actually want to name this one emerald. So there we go. We're going to have a little emerald. And then I wanted to be ready. So we have Henry the Fourth. It may not actually be like Henry the Fourth. I I'm I'm thinking I may have had two Henry the Fourths, but such is the risk of a silly goose memory. So we're gonna have Henry the Fifth, the name tag, just prepared ahead of time. Okay, I know that seems a little odd. And then we're gonna have Henry Eddie the Second prepared ahead of time. But the way I see this is that we are simply establishing the royal dynasty. This is like creating an official record. Henry the sixth. There you go. And we'll have Henrietti. Oh no, I'm out of enchantment. All right, well, we'll have to be good with that for now. Okay, let's go ahead and put these name tags away. Uh, hey, I need that one. There we go. But I was thinking we could use one of these chests that I stored in here to start keeping garden notes and to kind of keep things a little interesting, to be able to really have little records of what actually goes on in our garden and interesting insights to how things have changed. And I thought that'd be fun because the other day, uh, and I'll actually do a little bit of harvesting and tidying up while I tell you guys this, but... I have been trying really hard in my my life to do some cleaning and spring cleaning and really get to the point where uh, my house down to every box in the basement, every paper that I own is organized and tidy and I know what it is, I know why I have it. Just kind of like some massive spring cleaning because if, if you guys haven't picked up from my vlogs by now, oh Lala I picked up one of your eggs. Well, there's a good chance that Chips and I are actually going to be living in Taiwan for an entire year, which is really amazing. And we're actually talking about living in Japan for at least six months to a year after that as well. And of course, I would still be here in Zudesia, thanks to the wonderful powers of the internet and the fact that I have a gaming laptop specifically for when we do those kinds of trips. But it would be entirely because he needs to do study abroad for his career. And living in another country is a fantastic way to like make connections and be able to do research of very old historical documents and files that he would be poking in. So I'm very, very excited about this, but it means all of our stuff has to live in a storage unit. Uh, and I want to try to minimize as much stuff as we have to stick in a storage unit as possible. So Chips and I are currently in the process of trying to minimize what we have in our home. And while I was doing that and cleaning the basement, which was a little spooky. You never really realize how much junk you have until you actually have to go clean up the junk that you have been hiding in the basement for far too long. Uh, but when we went down into the basement and I started cleaning it, I found an entire box full of old notes that I used to write about zoo crafting. And it made my heart so happy. It had so many of your guys' names written down on it too. It was amazing. It was so amazing to recognize some of your names. And I had written down the comments and ideas that people had had for different things to build in our world. And I was just stunned. I was like, oh, why haven't I had these notes with me like all the time? This is so inspirational. I want to build a beautiful, beautiful crystal cave now. I want to be able to build like this amazing ice bridge. What about this person who suggests a really awesome thing to do with like a fox exhibit? Or this person who suggests some really, really cool themed restaurants that we could do in different parts of the zoo? It was overflowing with all of your creative ideas and a ton of my own creative ideas. And I didn't know because it has been in a box in my basement for ages. So I was thinking, why don't I go ahead and start sprinkling around the zoo instead of of to-do list instead of overwhelming myself with lost list 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 everywhere. What if I start having little just like 
notebook areas. What if I start scattering desks around the world, uh, kind of tucked into zookeeper stations, and I can just run in there and jot down some ideas or some fun little joy moments. Uh, I think we used to actually have a book and quill that I was trying to turn into like a joy thing. Uh, I should have a joy journal that I carry with me. Didn't I used to start something like that? I really, I want to do that. But yeah, that's the moral of the story there is that I want to start keeping notes about what we do here in our wonderful realm of Zudesia. Because I think, and yes, I did just harvest the garden only to immediately turn around <laughs> and start putting some of the, oh, can I actually put the applesauce? <gasps> I can put some of the old food, not all of the old food, but I can like put all the applesauce and the roasted pumpkin seeds in here. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't want to do that with everything, but that's a good way to recycle old food now, isn't it? Oh my goodness gracious. That's so cool. And then we can turn it into compost that we can actually turn around and take care of um, take care of all of our wonderful slugs with. That is awesome. But yeah, so I'm really hoping by just instead of making a to-do list, but instead just having fun ideas that we celebrate and kind of keep track with, don't you think that'd be amazing? We'd keep ourselves constantly surrounded with inspiration and I wouldn't feel the stage fright and the uncertainty of what to do next <laughs> that sometimes hits me when I'm trying to settle down in, in our world and like do things here. Uh, also, I don't eat egg sandwiches, so I think this crate is going to start being filled with food donations <laughs> and we'll just start kind of like transferring food donations over there. <laughs> That'll be a good thing. And uh, that's really good to know that we can actually um, clear out some of the old food that we're not going to be using anyway. Is that you, Henry? Look at you go. They are just like little active, little active snails and slugs. All right, let's find emerald. Oh, geez. We have a green slug or a green snail in the lettuce. Uh, Are you guys actually eating this lettuce? Because there's a lot like lettuce, less of the lettuce than usual. There you go, Henry. Oh, look at little Henry. That's so cute. He really seems to be enjoying the lettuce. Oh, and I should have kept the lettuce. I totally forgot that I can come over to Slug Kingdom and trade it for a good old woolly galompus now. Uh, woolly gompus. I have no idea why I want to insist on calling it a woolly galompus, but it's a new pet name. All right. Oh, here we go. Emerald. Oops. You came over to hang out with Delightful. That's so cute. Ah, but yeah, so there is my idea of being able to actually leave notes scattered around the world. And this time, instead of making it so that I had a bunch of to-do lists, I just hope I can like write down some of your guys' ideas for what we can do in the world. And I hope I can kind of inspire some of you who also are trying to do creative things. I think so often we think the creative things have to be like super important, or if we have a good idea, we have to work on it right away. But I think that it's actually a amazing thing to make an environment where we surround ourselves with what inspires us, which for me is clearly greenery. Look how green this world is. Even the snails are green. Even my boots are green. My pants are green. It's amazing. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's one of my hopes is that we can like have little either desks because we do have desks. Do I want to build? I mean, you know what? This is kind of like my little workshop, isn't it? I should have oh, a framing bench in here. <gasps> that would make little projects like that so much easier. I can't remember what the carpenter tool is called that you actually make the frame like frame what is this called the furniture paneler so i want to make a furniture paneler there we go so we want to make a furniture paneler with a framing saw uh, and then the furniture paneler will allow us to create all sorts of special carpenters framed things this is brilliant i am so excited we should turn this into a little workshop like that and they, these are actually spanish moss pieces that will become string which is why I am growing them in here. I guess they like the shadowy environment of this area. Uh, but yeah, a little framed bench. Then if we want to make a bunch of desks, because we do have the ability to create a bunch of desks, then we can scatter them through the world and just leave little notes of joy or inspiration scattered all over the place. But you know what? Let's go ahead and I am going to start a joy journal today because I think it's one of the most important things I've ever done. 
And my confidence in zoo crafting has taken such a beating over not being like, Siri, make it more popular for so many years <laughs> that it would be wonderful to be able to have a joy journal to remind me why every adventure has its own little journey and its own awesomeness. Uh, let's make a book. Oh, we can make books with blank patterns. What? <laughs> I had no idea. Do you guys remember all of the the um, terrifying penguins of the nether? Oh, those guys were quite scary. All right, and blank patterns? I think I have a, what? Are you kidding me? I could have been making books out of blank patterns all along. That is amazing. That is so much nicer than using leather for sure. And apparently, like, but I have some leather right here. So, I mean, we're good now, but man, I had no idea. All right, let's grab a feather, an ink sack. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need to, well, I don't think I need to step out actually. Make a wee little book. There we go. Ta-da! Just like that, we now have a little spring joy journal. And we will keep this one going for, oh, we should make it spring 2019. There we are. And today's joy moments are going to be surrounded by greenery and watching Henry the fourth, yes, the fourth, <laughs> eat lettuce in my leafy green garden. There we are. And then we will enter something next time, which will be really fun. I should rename this. Oh, which means I need more, oh, which means I definitely need more essence berries. Ah, there we go. Nom, 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 nom. Wonderful. Slowly but surely. <laughs> oh, I guess it's safe to say this is my home. So some days, some days really fast and interesting. Other days just really silly goose me. All right, let's come and rename the joy journal. And then the other thing I wanted to try to get done today, uh, spring, uh, we'll just call it a spring joy journal. There we go. Ah, I'm so happy to have that. That is gonna make things so much better. And just having the desks where we can kind of like write down a few observations using our pixel biologist skills to note changes in the environment or projects that we left off so that we can remember what the heck we were doing uh, will be really fun too. So, okay. The last thing I definitely wanted to do today as I have once again become a garden hermit and run around in circles uh, is actually over here I would like to start like the royal slug line and what that's going to entail is that this is going to kind of be where the royalty of the slug line will have their namesakes and then we might actually have Henry kind of like give us some of the treasures of the slug garden and if we don't want to use them right away we'll put them over here I should probably put down like a line of something do I actually have like a bunch of oak leaves right over here actually let's see saplings Ooh, i am very low on oak leaves now <laughs> oh my goodness and i need to take a lot of the wood over if i'm going to be making panels and things oh hey and i have a whole compost bin right in here hmm noted i've got a lot of those scattered around but we have a very big garden all right so let's see i want to make kind of a line right here this is going to kind of be like slug kingdom. And then I want to make another book and have like notes on the slug kingdom. We might note uh, what kind of life Henry the fourth will have if he passes and Henry the fifth comes into place. Then we can note like the conditions of the garden when he arrives. Uh, I kind of, <laughs> so many chocobo feathers. I'm sort of curious at how many chocobo feathers we can end up like stockpiling in here. Uh, cause I mean, there's stuff you can do with them, but still, uh, let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and put the oak leaves. Wait, I did have a few there. There we go. And then the last thing I think I want to do today is I want to make a pressure plate. Maybe just, hmm, hmm. actually a carpenter pressure plate. Okay. That's going to take a hot minute to do uh yeah all right all right all right i think we're gonna leave the woodworking project to next time i still need to put the water lilies away uh and i still need to do tasks in the actual zoo 
But I feel like this is a great first step. I just really, really, really want to have like a spring joy journal so we can start leaving off every day with a little bit of adventure. And I wanna start spreading notes through the whole zoo. Then when it's time to move back to a new area, if I have notes, I will remember what I was doing. And I think hopefully that will be a encouraging lesson to those of you who are also into creative endeavors, where if you're just constantly forgetting what you were doing, find a way to like have your notes in a place where you see them more often because like i think when we're creative people you always have this assumption that your best creativity is going to be in the future and so you keep putting your best ideas into the future but some of my past ideas that i found in that box and some of the ideas that you guys had in the past for zoo crafting were better than anything I could sit here and think of right this second. So I don't know, I just really feel like I should tell those of you who are into creative projects of any kind, be it engineering or art or whatever you do that makes you happy and fulfilled and work in those creative powers, to really like take notes. <laughs> you don't have to put the energy into actually making the thing right now. And then try to come back to those notes uh, pretty often because you just might surprise yourself and give yourself a hefty dose of inspiration when you've got like the desire to create, but your your like inspiration is sort of struggling along. Uh, hello, delightful. Hello, Emerald. I'm so happy to be surrounded by all of these lovely slugs. Also, our 16 lettuces. Oh, look, we have a little slug party. So cool. Ah, not enough for a wooly gompus, but at least we have a start. Ah, but alright guys, so we are going to be working on a few more projects in the garden. This is just kind of like relaxing Siri in her world time. But we are going to be- oh, I just stepped on a toxic plant. Yep, relaxing Siri in her world time, alright. But we will be moving on to some big projects that I actually have in mind, even better than ever now that I have restored leafy green peace to my heart and home, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of joy to write about as we continue with the gardens of Babylon, and we also tackle Tata, the trickster god. So, I'll see you guys next time. Remember everybody, stay curious! Bye guys! <laughs>